uh, we're here with Mrs. Lucy Krahutsova. I hope I, I said it okay. Fantastic. Uh, Senior Policy Manager for Lime. Thank you, Mrs. Krahutsova, for this interview. Thank um, you. I would like to, uh, I'm learning that you, uh, you launch again in Greece at this moment. Is that correct? And why? Are you launching again in Greece? Yes, and we're very excited. Um, so in 2022, we had our first, um, in the industry, it was the first profitable year for Lime. Um, and on in 2023, we once again kind of surpassed those um, financial results. So we are finally in a stable enough and profitable enough position to consider coming back to some of the markets. And we, I think we're very sad to leave Greece at the end of COVID. So this is the time to come back. Um, we're investing over a million euro. We're setting up headquarters in Thessaloniki and Athens, and we're really excited to bring the service back. Do you have a more specific timeline about uh, the launching in Athens and Thessaloniki? Yes, we're looking at June. Okay. Um, and of course, uh, you know, we're looking at bringing um, around uh, a thousand scooters to Thessaloniki to start and around 2,000 to Athens. So it will be gradual scaling. So I think users um, can expect to see you know, a few hundred at a time as we scale the operation gradually over the summer. But you will be here at this uh, summer season? Yes, this summer season we're coming back to Greece. Okay. Um, what is your experience in, in, uh, from Greece uh, before uh, leaving, uh, before COVID? Yeah, it's the second time you're launching, launching here, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Indeed. I think COVID brought a lot of uncertainty to the business. Um, and at the time, we were really deciding uh, where to invest and prioritize. Uh, so, you know, for us, Thessaloniki was always one of the best markets globally. Uh, it, you know, at peak, I think we had something like 30,000 users every month, which is huge for a city that size. So I think Thessaloniki specifically we're very excited about. Athens is much bigger, so I think we respect the challenge there. Um, but both of those cities, I think, have great potential. And you see even private use of scooters and electric bikes go up in both of them when you move around. So I think we see a lot of potential. Um, what about damages, Mrs. Uh, Krahutsova? Um, and what about insurance? Um, last time we had some um, uh, incidents where uh, scooters were thrown into the sea or something like that, if I'm not uh, wrong. Uh, how are you planning to um, tackle these uh, problems? Yes, uh, people have a real fascination with throwing things into the water. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I think it's something we will work with uh, the local municipalities as well as the police on solving. Um, as far as any accidents or damages go, uh, all the users in Greece will be protected by our global insurance policy. We have an accident coverage as well as a general uh, liability um, coverage. So for any injury or any uh, third party damage that our users cause, um, they're insured. And it's, um, the certificates are on our website, they're already active for Greece, um, and we work with Allianz to provide the service globally. And uh, the system will work as it used to uh, work? I mean, you can uh, rent the scooter from one uh, place and leave it to another? Indeed. Um, we are currently working, it's a slightly different service in that we are working with every municipality to custom tailor. So in certain places there will be specific parking areas where to leave the scooters, but generally the principle is the same. You can scan a scooter and go. And also since we were here last, um, we will be active on the Uber app. So users can either use the Uber app or the Lime app to scan the scooter and um, use it. Mrs. Krahutsova, thank you very much for this insightful conversation. Thank you so much for having me here.